Hello and welcome to Bricks Videos. This is a channel where we answer all your questions related to property buying. In today's video, let us quickly go over HRA which is House Rent Allowance and the steps involved in calculating HRA. House Rent Allowance or HRA is an important part of the salary paid by the employer to an employee for rented accommodation. HRA is a useful allocation of salary structure to save tax because salaried individuals who live in a rented accommodation can claim HRA to lower their tax. So now let us quickly go through the factors and steps involved in calculation of HRA for both salaried individuals as well as self-employed individuals. For salaried individuals under section 1013A, the exemption of HRA is the minimum of the following three numbers. Number one, actual HRA that is amount allocated as house rent in the salary structure. Number two, 50% of basic salary if residing in metro cities like Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai or Bangalore or 40% of basic salary if residing in any other non-metro cities. Number 3. Actual rent paid less 10% basic salary. In the case of government employees, DNS allowance is also added to the basic pay to calculate HRA. After calculating all the three, the minimum of the three will get the benefit of tax exemption. Now let us understand HRA tax exemption for salaried individuals with an example. For example, an individual working for a private sector firm earns a salary of 60,000 per month. Let's say the salary breakup constitutes the basic pay of 20,000 and a HRA of 12,000 rupees. Let us consider the rent paid by the same individual as rupees 15,000. Now if the individual resides in any of the metro cities then 50% of the basic pay comes up to 10,000 per month and further 1,20,000 rupees annually. Up next the HRA component becomes 1,44,000 annually. The third calculation will be rent that is 15,000 minus 10% of the basic pay which will be 15,000 minus 2,000 and that is 13,000 which further, if calculated annually, becomes 1,56,000 rupees. So out of the three, the minimum amount is the first calculation, that is 50% of the basic pay, which is 1,20,000. So a tax exemption of 1,20,000 rupees can be availed by the same individual. Moving forward, if an individual resides in a non-metro city, then 50% of basic pay calculation needs to be replaced with 40% of basic pay. Now let's talk about self-employed individuals and salaried individuals who have no HRA component attached to their salary structure. Non-salaried individuals and also individuals without a HRA benefit in their salary structure can claim tax exemptions similarly under section 80GG if the conditions are met. Under section 80GG, the exemption of HRA is the minimum of the following three numbers. Firstly annual rent paid minus 10% of the annual income excluding income from capital gains. Secondly, 25% of the total income excluding income from the capital gains. And finally, 5000 per month which is fixed. As mentioned earlier, the minimum of the of 3 is considered for HRA tax exemption. Also, please click on the link in the description box below to calculate HRA tax exemption with the help of a calculator provided by the Indian Income Tax Department. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope we have answered your queries relating to this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and we respond to every comment we receive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share our videos if you like our work. And don't forget to watch our related videos.